How do they spell it? Well, his name Terrence. is, it's actually J. Terrence. And Terrence is with an E, but that's okay. You know what? It wouldn't bother him. <laughs> he would love award. it. It's, he would love the award, you know. And I'm honored to accept it for him and our family. Very special. Has he received awards before? Yes, he has. He has. And, you know, I mean, all over the gambit, but, you know, he worked hard and he uh, left his imprint on the industry, so. What did the industry mean to your family? I mean, obviously, uh, you're more than a spouse, I suppose, because is, the, is gaming kind of in your culture? Well, really not, not really until Terry got involved in it. And I remember he called me way back when and said, what do you think? I've been approached by a, um, you know, a headhunter about um, getting involved in the gaming industry. And I said, you know, it's a challenge. And he was very interested, I knew. And I said, go for it. You know, it wasn't anything that he had really, I think, had on his, you know, agenda to do. And he loved it. And he was good at it. In uh, Jim, is it Murren or McMurrin? Murren. Jim Murren's speech, he talks about a, a Terry sense of fairness and humbleness. That was Terry, very much Terry. He was, he treated everybody the same. It didn't matter if you were an executive or someone, a housekeeper or someone sweeping the, you know, floors after the party was over. He treated everybody the same. He wanted everybody to call him Terry and he was emphatic about that. Just call me Terry is what he would say. I remember the first time I went into his office at the Bellagio and I said, my God, this is the largest office I've ever been in. He said, well, Steve Wynn it built it. Steve Wynn's office. <laughs> but Terry knew all the little bells and whistles after. He, <laughs> he enjoyed the office very much. And I'm sure Jim enjoys it too. <laughs> it's a beautiful office. It really was. So, so. Um, how do you feel uh, about what he's done to the gaming industry? Do you, do you feel any, any sense of uh, pride? Oh, of course. Of course. How can you not? I mean... He, he worked hard, he respected the industry, the industry respected him. Um, his oldest son is involved in the industry. Um, I'm very proud of Sean, Terry was very proud of Sean, and it's very much a part of a, our life, and it gave us a very good life. I mean, it was, it was, it's a wonderful, wonderful group of people, and it's, um, it's something that's very much and will always be very much a part of my life. Um, was it he who oversaw the uh, MGM acquisition of Mirage? Yes, it was. He and Kirk um, Kerkorian. Um, I can't remember way that was back in. Well, I can't even remember when, but um, I remember those. I mean, Terry was not one that would come home from the office and share a lot of things. It was always very private. No, he was very, very uh, much, you know, he didn't, I mean, he shared things, but he didn't tell me anything that he didn't feel that I should, you know, not be involved in, but. How hard was it for you with him being so engrossed in work? I probably had to travel and work. Oh, um, I would travel with him a lot. Um, it was it was lots of fun. Um, yes, I actually lived in Pasadena while he was in Las Vegas because our boys were in school in Pasadena. So it was sort of a back and forth weekends and things like that. I'd come up here, he'd come back to Pasadena. And it was, you know, it was hard sometimes, but we were very much in love. I never worried about not seeing him or, you know, I mean, I must have talked to Terry four, five, six times a day. So, yeah. And he was very much a father to the boys. He couldn't be at all their water polo games or football games, but he was there. Nice. And of the awards that he has received, where, where, where does this factor in, oh. this particular one? Well, this is very special because they're recognizing him now that he's gone. Um, and it's a very special award because the, the, the letter or the article that Roger wrote in the magazine was very touching. And I think it just showed the vision that Terry had 
um, and it still has a tremendous effect on Las Vegas and the entire gaming industry, be it Las Vegas, the United States, or the world. So, Do you think you'll stay in, involved in uh, the gaming culture? Well, I'm not really involved. My son is. Um, our other son is in the finance industry. Uh, the only gaming industry that I'm involved in is horse racing. So, <laughs> so I've stayed involved in that. But uh, do you have stakes in any racing horses? Yes, we uh, we actually have a horse um, that just won last Saturday, and he's running in the Breeders' Cup Championship in November. What's his name? Game on Duke. I I own him uh, with Bernie Schiappa from Las Vegas and Ernie Moody, who's in the gaming industry, oh, right, right. and Joe Torrey. Joe Torrey from the baseball, baseball Joe Torrey. <laughs> and, and when's the race? It's November third. Saturday, November 3rd. Well, Terry was lucky, Ernie Moody was lucky, and we're hoping that Game On... Joe's lucky, Game On Do's been very lucky. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. Thank you very much. Thank you.